What's up YouTubers? Today we have the N54 in front of us and we're going to be installing the oil pickup tube and we have new hardware for the oil pump sprocket. We're going to put on a new o-ring and the oil pan gasket with new hardware. So for this install as you guys can see there's an o-ring on the end of this tube right here. That's what I'm going to be replacing. And this bolt right here is going to get torqued down to 20 newton meters and then degreed 45 degrees. Also, we have the oil pan over here. I cleaned it up. We have the oil level sending unit out. We're going to be replacing the gasket on this as well. hardware it says this requires 10 newton meters to 180 degrees holy crap are you kidding me oh, are you kidding me come on you gotta be kidding me you gotta be kidding me what's up world so um, just a while ago, I was tightening, tightening these bolts that go to the intake pipe, to the bed plate. And I, I misread the torque specs and I used the wrong spec. So I was looking at oil pump to bed plate, which was the oil pump, not the intake pipe. So instead of using four Newton meters, I had my torque wrench set to 10 Newton meters and I snapped the bolt clean off. So. Now I have to go to BMW and buy three new bolts like this. So for now I'm going to move on to the engine and do other things in the meanwhile. Okay world, so BMW requires a special tool to lock this gear in place so you can tighten the center nut. It's called a plug mandrel. Um, I don't have this tool. I was hoping I could get away without buying that special tool. So right now I have a quarter inch punch with a flat tip the camera focuses on it yeah quarter inch punch and if you rotate the motor until this hole in the bottom lines up with the hole behind it you can stick this in there and now that's in there that should lock it in place okay so we're going for 20 newton meters let's see if this works 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now it says we have to do 45 degrees of angle. So now I'm gonna set my torque wrench to angle meter. You have to play it on a, a flat surface to zero it out. Okay, it's, it's zeroed out. You see, I already have it preset on 45 degrees. And now we're gonna do 45 degrees. That's half of 90 degrees. So if I start from 12 o'clock, I should end up almost two o'clock. Okay, you guys ready? Three, four, seven, eight, 10, 14, 22, 30, 37, 45. So that shows you you don't need BMW special tool. I don't like that! I use this uh, quarter inch punch that probably costs you like three bucks at Home Depot. Yeah. 
a little bit more. Look, okay. Wow. That's heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> Using a 14 millimeter, disconnect all the fuel lines over the valve cover and make sure you label them because they are different from cylinder to cylinder. Using an inverted torque E10, remove all the hardware. You're gonna need 11 millimeters to remove the bolts underneath the ground stud. When you're putting the new gasket on, make sure you start from the center and work your way out. That makes sure the pressure is even. Refer to new TIS for torque specs on the valve cover. Okay, world. I got the intake manifold off. I got the wiring harness off. I moved the fuel rail to the side. We took off the boost control solenoids. And now the valve cover is finally off. So as you guys can see, the fuel injectors stay stationary. No need to remove them. The valve cover gasket actually goes around them. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to clean off the mating surfaces and then we're going to remove the old gasket out of there and put on a brand new gasket. cylinder head cover to cylinder head which is the valve cover and it's telling me that it's 8.5 newton meters and th it does not have a torque angle spec so all I need is 8.5 newton meters we're gonna do that right now okay YouTubers, we're going to be installing six brand new Delphi ignition coils. Now that the valve cover has changed, we can drop these guys in. Okay, YouTubers, so getting ready to install the RB Turbo's um, positive crankcase ventilation valve. I broke it. Took the cap off, you guys can see that. It was a half inch socket. And then down inside here is the valve. I'm not sure what size this is, nine millimeter maybe. Stick it inside the hole, like that, and then I'm going to grab onto the, the piece here and try to pull it out. Just going to screw it out. It's working. It actually works, people. So I'm screwing it out. Um, counterclockwise the drill bit is so that the plastic doesn't collapse when you squeeze it screwing it out it's coming out it's loose now and there she goes We got the old valve out. Okay, we have the new RB valve. We're gonna reuse the O-ring here. And then we have the cover. So I'm gonna put the O-ring back on here. And then this guy goes inside
goes inside like that. So I'm going to put some oil on both of these O-rings and then we're going to screw this back in and it's that simple. Lubricate the oil on the O-rings. Stick this back inside here. So now the new PCV is installed. Okay, well, the intake manifold is from the sedan. This wire harness is from the coupe. I was trying to compare the two to see if there were any differences, and there are a major difference. So if we look at this end of the harness, we have one huge connector right here, and then we have this connector right here and then we have this connector this one this one this one so if you look at the two already they're clearly different this has a green connector this one has a burgundy one so I'm gonna use the coupe harness on the intake manifold so I split the wire harnesses into two sections intake manifold side and ECU side so right here in my hand I have both of the ECU sides I did some comparisons checking every single connector to see if they're the same and for the most part 95% they are the same I found only one discrepancy so on the ECU side you have these cluster of connectors near the fuse you have this green connector I'm not sure what it's for if you guys watching this right now know what it's for drop a comment down below so I notice that the coupe and the sedan with this green connector that the orange wires are in different pins. So I put this blue tape around it so later on when I'm going to hook up the ECU I know I need to finish sorting out the differences between these two wires. But I'm going to use the sedan's harness because it is in much better condition than the coupe's. Okay, well, so I'm going to be changing the leveling sensor. I'm going to take that off. Let's take this seal off. I'm going to clean it, and then I'm going to put this one on. <laughs> 